Blog Talk Radio. Are you ready to take a bite out of the competition? Are you looking for ideas to make your business better? Welcome to the Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet. Sponsored by Apple Capital Group. At the core of every successful business, you'll find people making a difference. And with each episode of the Core Business Show, we talk with those people, examine those ideas, and explore the strategies that make them special. Now, the host of the Core Business Show, Tim Jacquet. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Core Business Show. I'm Tim Jacquet, your host. Today, we're going to interview Dr. Meyer DeNovo. She is the dean out of the workforce and then economic development executive director for the Goldman Sachs program in Houston at HCC. If you have any questions, go ahead and give us a call at 347-324-3460, 347-324-3460, or you can post this question in the chat room. I'm going to read that on the air. Again, we're going to talk about the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Business Program. Maya, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me. Great. I guess to begin with, kind of tell us about yourself, if you don't mind. Our audience like little stories. So if you can tell us how you got started with this, I really appreciate it. Well, I've been with Houston Community College over 30 years and have been working in workforce development, which is really designed to give students and citizens of Houston the skills necessary to be productive, effective, and successful members of our society. So it's all about training skills, workforce skills, to really to make a good living. And two years ago, I had an opportunity to fill out an application with Goldman Sachs. It was a grant for the 10,000 Small Business Initiative. And this is a program that is designed to help small businesses grow in revenue and employees. It's an extraordinary opportunity because it comes to employees at no cost. This is a gift that um, Goldman Sachs is giving to small business owners. Actually, they made a commitment, Goldman Sachs did, a $500 million commitment to help 10,000 small businesses across the country, hence the name 10,000 Small Businesses. Wow. So the so Goldman Sachs is partnering with community colleges across the country. They started in New York, then they've got a program in LA, in New Orleans, Houston, Chicago, and now Cleveland is the the newest location. What so prompted go, go ahead. What prompted Goldman Sachs? I yeah, think what prompted Goldman Sachs to do this? Well, this is coming from their foundation, and the foundation, of course, is always designed to do things on a donation basis, and I think they realized that the economy was struggling, and what better way to help the economy than to stimulate small businesses, because that really is the heart and soul of our economy, is small businesses. And across the country, 99% of us are small business owners. So wow. they really made a commitment to provide a training program, and that's really what this is. This is a training program that small businesses go through, and they gain all of the business skills. It's almost like a mini MBA, if you will. And armed with those skills, businesses then can really start to grow their business. Wow. Now, when you talked about the very beginning, I think two years ago, you mentioned that you applied for a grant for your program, kind of tell us about how that uh, how that worked. I mean, you become like the incubator for that particular area because I know HCC is really one of the largest in the nations as in student population, which is kind of ironic. But you, but I think a huge system of fifty thousand or a hundred thousand. No, we we are close to seventy thousand students at the college, and wow. we're. We have actually six, we're divided up into six colleges across the entire Houston Metroplex. And I started writing grants several years ago, was successful, and grants really provide that opportunity for students who otherwise would not have a chance to go back to school. And in this particular case, it was a grant through Goldman Sachs designed to help small business owners. So with this grant itself, since you have students, was it to subsidize their classes in one sense, or is actually just a mini MBA program 
that a person don't really take college credit. They just come in and go under that program for a certain amount of time, and they get all the skills from the top business leaders that's, of the community. That's correct. It really is designed specifically for small business owners that have been in operation for two years. They have four employees, and that includes themselves, and revenue between 150000 and $4 million. So it's a very targeted group, and it's really many business owners fall into that criteria, but it's also the person that has started their business, and they get to that point where they need additional assistance. They need additional skills, for example. They need extra financial skills or negotiating skills, marketing skills, leadership skills. That's what the program provides. It's a 90-hour program that's divided into nine different modules, if you will, or nine different class sessions, each one of them focusing on a different part of their business. So they come into the class. It's very dynamic. It's very interactive. They learn about that one particular skill. They can go and apply it to their business the next day. Then they come back two weeks later, and there's a different module. So by the end, they've really had an opportunity to step back and work on their business rather than working in the business. And that's something that is so difficult for small business owners because they are so busy. They're so enmeshed in the day-to-day operation that they don't have that opportunity to step back and take a look at the whole operation. That's what this program enables them to do, to step back and really analyze what, where are their finances? Where is the money going? How is it coming in? Because very often you're so busy you don't see that whole financial metrics, if you will. Then they look at the growth opportunities. What are the growth opportunities for their specific business? And so on down the line. So they'll look at their business from all of those perspectives. And what they walk away with at the end of the program is they have a growth plan. That's really what they're developing throughout the nine modules. That growth plan is what they need to access funding. And Goldman Sachs has committed $20 million here in Houston for loans. It's a phenomenal opportunity, really. It's amazing. And we've had, to date, 130 small businesses that have gone through the program, and so many of them gained the skills, and now they're growing their businesses. They're hiring more people. They're accessing funding. And it's a win-win because it comes to the small business owner at no cost. It's a gift. Wow. Kind of tell us what the requirements are. I know you, you mentioned they must be 150000 in revenue to $4 million with at least right. four employees, including themselves. This is not for startups. Correct. This is not for startups. This is okay. for, for a business that's been in operation two years. Okay. For, so if they've been in business for the last two years, they're struggling, they... But they have employees, which is including themselves. I mean, you have maybe a couple of part-time employees. Yeah. You run your business. So that, if you apply, automatically qualifies you, or is a screening process that goes on with that? Well, there's an interview process that happens as well. What happens is you fill out an application, and that application is available on our website, which is HCCS. Dot edu, and then you just click on the Goldman Sachs link. So you need to fill out an application, and then there is an interview. And if you meet the basic criteria, then you would be accepted into the program. Okay. Number two uh, part of that, now you mentioned they have all, uh, Goldman Sachs have all these regional type opportunities. Is this available to, for everyone in the state of Texas, but are it just really basic? to the people in the uh, the Houston area. So can I be in another town like Austin and we want to say willing to commute for the classes, will that work yes. or they have to actually? Yes. Okay. No, no, they do not good. have to. Yes, it, we're certainly promoting it in the greater Houston area, but if somebody from Austin wants to drive here, they're certainly more than welcome to. The classes are held typically on Fridays and Saturdays every other week. So it's the the program runs over a course of two and a half months. Oh, that's it? Okay. So it's not a yes. year-long thing. So it's just two and a half months. No, it's not a year-long thing. It's over two and a half months. Okay. 
So, for example, we're now recruiting for a class that starts in October, and that class will end in the middle of December. So it will run October, November through the 15th of December. Then we'll start okay. classes again in February, and they'll run again for two and a half months. So talk about the classes that has been offered. I know you mentioned it from highlights earlier, but if you can just kind of talk to us, okay, this is what these modules will include. So the modules well, you, we start out with an orientation, then there's mm -hmm. a module on um, metrics and finance. There's another module on growth opportunities. How do you grow your particular business? There's another module on you as a leader. So you're looking at yourself and then you're also looking at your employees just in terms of what kind of a team are you building and what kind of a leader are you within that team? Then there's another module on marketing. How are you promoting your business? Are you using social media? Are you using the Internet, et cetera? So that's a whole day spent on marketing. Then there's another module on operations. What are the operations within your, your business? Then there's a module on being bankable. What does it take to to get a loan and how are you bankable? And then you also learn how to make a rocket pitch, meaning can you talk about your business in three minutes? So we have an entire session where the small business owner is learning how to talk very succinctly in a very compelling and effective manner. We actually tape that so they can take that with them. And then the last module is putting it all together. And putting together that growth plan, which is really their roadmap for their business, how it's going to move forward and grow. Because this is all about growing your business. Oh, and the hey, hey, let, let me, go ahead. Oh, I no, was go just going to say that the classroom setting is very dynamic. It's very interactive. You're sitting in a classroom with other small business owners, there's a topic at hand, and then you have an opportunity to talk with other small businesses, how they handle that, that particular, the particular module. So it's not like you're sitting and listening to somebody lecture for eight hours. On the contrary, you have a topic, you have discussions, you have a lot of interactions, then you have another topic. So it's a very effective learning module. So are there any particular industries that's restricted or just open to any business? No, there are absolutely no no restrictions, and it's businesses from all walks of life, whether it's service industries, restaurants, repair, we've had dentists, we've had physicians, we've had people that are in marketing, accounting, office supplies, breakfast, cookie industry, marketing, music, computer, automotive, I mean, you name it, it's open to any small business owner. that And that's the beauty of it, that you're in a classroom with so many other industries. And actually, what we've discovered is that small business owners are actually growing their business because they're, they're partnering with other people in, in their own classroom. Wow. Oh, and then one of, the, one of the, yeah, it is an amazing program. And we also have alumni services. So after you finish the program, we stay in touch with you because we host four to five events throughout the year where we invite the graduates to come back, mingle with other graduates, get to know each other. And then we also present topics that are current and relevant to the small business owners. So we stay in touch over the next five years because this is a five-year grant. Okay. The, also, when it comes to different cities, is there a way they can go to another website and say, hey, what is the closest city that's offering this program to me? Can they go to a, a Goldman Sachs site or something and say, hey, these are the, I know you mentioned the top of the hour cities that is available in, but if they want to go and get the, the same information, because all the programs vary from city to city or are they pretty much the same throughout each city? No, they're pretty. They're pretty much the same. It's a standardized okay. curriculum. And actually, the curriculum was developed by Babson College, and that's one of the partners in the program. And Babson College okay. is considered the premier entrepreneurial school. But to answer your question, I think if you just go into the browser and put 10,000 small businesses, most of the programs will come up on the, on the Internet. But they are located in eight cities in New York, Los Angeles. 
Chicago, Cleveland, Houston, New Orleans. Okay. Any particular success stories that really st- stands out with you? Hey, I, this company was extremely small, and all of a sudden they just doubled their business. I mean, they've done this and that. Any particular ses- success stories that you ran across? Well, I can tell you one. It's Brooks Family Foods, which is a barbecue company here in Houston that, that was in, has been in existence actually for 20 years with revenue pretty much flat over the last 20 years. And Marlon Brooks participated in the program. And one of the key skills that he gained was negotiating. That was something that we find that a lot of small business owners really shy away from negotiating skills. So one of the modules contains that. And he learned how to negotiate. As a result, he negotiated a contract with Costco, Houston International Airport, Georgia Brown Convention Center, and I think one other company, his sales went up 25% just because he learned how to negotiate. And it's one of those key business skills. Wow. Now, there's an application deadline coming up pretty soon with with your region. When is that application deadline for the fall? So that application deadline is July the 15th. Oh, wow. And that's for the class. Yeah, it's uh, pretty quick. But you can go to the hccs.edu website, click on the mm-hmm. Goldman Sachs link. You can download the application. Don't fill it out online. We're not there yet. You need to download it, fill it out, and you can send it in electronically. Okay, perfect. And if they want to go to get some more information, again, let's go to Goldman Sachs.com and, or just Google 10,000 businesses, 10, small, small businesses. Small businesses, that's right. Or they can call us. I can give out a phone number. Sure. 713-718-8348. Okay. That's that number again. Number we'll be 713-718-8348. And we'll be happy to answer any questions. Great. And the deadline for this fall is this weekend, man, this weekend, which is July 15th. But also they can apply, maybe make the next class, which is in exactly. next spring. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And is there a certain limit people you accept? Well, we're hoping to... We have two classes that are in two different parts of the city, so we're looking to accept between 60 and 70 small business owners. So uh, we still have plenty of room, and I hope we get a lot of applications because this program <laughs> comes at no cost. <laughs> wow. Well, we hope you get a lot of applications in. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming on to the program and talking about this program. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Again, it's been another production of the Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet, and Today's topic was a Goldman Sachs program for 10,000 businesses. You can go to HCC website for the Houston area or Texas area if you want to take a look at it. Also, GoldmanSachs.com forward slash citizens forward slash 10,000 hyphen small business forward slash index EML. Everybody, thank you for listening. Have a great day. It's the Core Business Show with Tim J.K. Thank you for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet. For more information about equipment financing and asset-based loans, visit our website, applecapitalgroup.com. That's applecapitalgroup.com. Or call us at 866-611-7457. We hope you'll join us for our next episode. And remember, you can always get to The Core via iTunes. You'll find all our previous episodes there. And thanks again for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet.